A sea of rainbow flags down Market Street reminded everyone that Pride was back in San Francisco, the first Pride parade since 2019. Oh my God, it's so, look at these people. Everybody is so happy. Everybody is so proud. It's a great day. The sun came out as soon as the parade started. <laughs> This is my first Pride Parade, and I wasn't able to go before, but now I'm 22 and I'm able to go, so woo! Oh my God, it's so good. Thank you. Yes, it's worth a celebration for sure. Tommy and Tina have waited three years for this. <laughs> Jeopardy champion Amy Schneider from Oakland was a grand marshal. It's just amazing to have it back. The whole weekend's been fantastic. I missed it so much, yeah. After conflict, then compromise with parade organizers earlier this month, some police officers were allowed to march in uniform, others in casual dress. It's an amazing feeling. I mean, it, people are happy, um, welcoming. I mean, you can't ask for more, and it's a great day. During much of the parade, Pride was overshadowed by the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. Abortion rights are under attack. What do we do? I hate it. It's going, we're going back. We might as well have the Taliban ruin, uh, ruling our country. Pride this year has deeper meaning because of the court's outrageous decision, and uh, again, the risk that is there, people see it very clearly. Politics and protest have always played a part in this parade, but the feeling of LGBTQ pride has never really changed. Delani Harris knows why she's here. Just really um, support everyone who's here because everyone is different, but we're all the same at the same time. Happy Pride, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News.